So, hello my lovelies, and uh, welcome to Shells, the sequel. It's coming out in April. Is it April? Uh, yes, it is currently, but I don't think it will be when this video actually airs. So, sorry about that. I'm only out by like a couple of days. However, today I'm going to be talking about my most recent collection, which was the ones that I made for Kingston Beach Hut. There is a beach hut in Kingston. It's a magical place and I love it. So I decided that I was going to take some painted shells there. I am doing my first ever video that I'm editing myself. And yeah, let's see how it goes because this is definitely going to look and feel completely different to my previous videos because Actually, no, I was going to say Inigo and I are completely different people, but a lot of people say that we are very much not. However, we do have a very different sense of, of humour, so this probably will be quite different. Or not. If you recall, there was a video about me going on a hunt for shells. I brought home about 150 shells like this, just a little muddy, a little raw. And I brought them home. I did. I started off by selecting these shells and taking them through to my kitchen. And in the kitchen is where I drill holes in them because if I'm going to hang stuff, they need to have a hole in the bottom. <laughs> Pretty uh, rational. And then I give them a good scrub in the sink to get all that excess dirt off because the more the cleaner they are, the better the paint will stick in the long run. So I did this. I just kind of last music and scrub things and then it's quite satisfying as well because one the shells do change colour as they get wet and two if you're actually getting through this grime they're going from being green to pink and I like green and I like pink but don't quote me on that I might change my mind within like 24 hours so once all the shells were clean then I could bring them back to my studio bring them back to the desk and actually begin to paint them. I'm going to talk a little bit about Kingston Beach House. So one day, it was Friday after work, Moss picked me up and he took me to the beach and I was like, which beach are we going to? Is this Lossy Beach? And he was like, no, this is not Lossy Beach. And he took me to a new beach, a beach that I'd never been to before, which is very exciting. Kudos on Moss for good boyfriending there, I suppose. So we went to this beach. And we walked all the way down to the first pillbox. We have these little pillboxes on all the beaches up here. Um, so we walked up to our, the first pillbox and we sat on top of it, watched the sea for a bit, saw a dolphin, uh, always fun. And then walked back down to the other end of the beach because there was something, something that someone had been built and I wasn't going to leave until I'd gone to investigate. And we got there and I was amazed by the size of this great big pile of sticks on the beach. And I got there and it was this just most amazing beach hut that someone had built. And as I started to walk in, I was a bit like, oh, am, am I supposed to be in here? Is this a private beach hut? And no, no, it wasn't a private beach hut. It was there for people to go see. I later found out that um, one of my colleagues sons had built her over the Christmas holidays, um, you know, lived in the local village and decided that they were going to use the immense amount of driftwood on the beach to build something special. And it really is special, it's got a little place for a fire in it, it's got this kind of double swirly door thing to keep the wind out, it's got a set of bunk beds, so two really nice wooden areas made up for if you go camping there you'll have the shelter, you have the place for the fire, you'll have somewhere to put your sleeping bag down and really be warm and cosy for the night and it's quite impressive. Uh, they've got a little guest book, a little visitor's book as well in a box in there with a couple of pens and pencils and just other things. These guys, they built the beach hut, they built it for, you know, just people to come and enjoy. Um, and my colleague, he was, he goes there I think he walks the dog along that beach every day, but every weekend he goes and checks it out. He's put in a 
place where people can put beach trash that they find and he's emptying that out, him and his wife are emptying that out every week and they're just making sure that the place is staying nice and tidy. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. And then there's, like I've heard stories of other people, I know that there's other people that like to go there every week and um, if you go through the guest book there's lots of really interesting things. So. Anyway, once I was finally happy with how all of my shelves looked, I decided to take them outside. Oh, I waited for them to dry and then I took them outside and I sprayed them twice with a top coat. I have a look here. This is crystal clear protective coat. Seals, protects and enhances a quick drying, non-yellowing, durable clear top coat for interior and exterior use. Use on wood, metal and ceramics for lasting professional finish. So this is what I used. I uh, sprayed that over all of the shelves, over the fronts and the backs. And I think I did that twice just to make sure it was really secure in there. And that way when they were hanging in the beach hut, they wouldn't weather too quickly. Um, even though acrylic's pretty wear durable, even though acrylic paint is pretty durable, I wanted to make sure I had a top coat on it so the rain wouldn't just eventually wash all the paint off. And then we got on to the fun bit, the fun bit of this, which was going to the beach hut. So I took 19 out of the 20 shells to this beach hut. We took cups of tea, we took cameras, and we just spent a couple of hours having fun. We tied them up all over the place. Um, Ashley had string and I had nails and a hammer and we just kind of put them in all the different places that we could think that some of them were very obvious, some of them were a little bit more hidden. Um, and then we decided to write down in the visitors book how many there were there and asked Moss if he could come find them all. And <laughs> then we all tried to find them all because we were certain that we'd brought 19 and we could only find 18 between the three. There were two on the outside and all the rest are inside the beach hut. And, uh, and then obviously after having hung all the shells and then laughed about our lack of ability to do basic math and count some seashells, we uh, sat and had a cup of tea, read the visitor's book, chilled out. Honestly, I just think this footage is so homely of us all just chilling out in this beach hut around the fireplace, which isn't lit because it was the middle of the day. And just enjoying the world. So yeah that's it that's my shells and beach hut story. I hope you but if you really want to get the full end of this art installation you'll have to go to Kingston and check them out. But in the meantime if you enjoyed this video please check out my others. Um, like I said at the beginning, this is my first time editing my own footage, so this could be really good, this could be really bad. Go compare it with the others and tell me whether you think I should be editing or if Inigo should be editing from this point on. That would be helpful. <laughs> um, otherwise, you know, like and subscribe, share about all this stuff. Social media, social media, social media. Rock on my lovelies and have a great day.